Hello, welcome to Totally Random. So, we're filming a fucking computer with a, another computer. That's off to a good start. Um, what are you looking at? Uh, that's the output of a Hall Effect sensor attached to an Arduino, which I'll show you in a moment. So, what, I've, what I'm gonna do is do this video the other way around. Well, I've shot it twice, so this is a third time lucky. Fucking demonstration shoot. So, as I'm spinning this, I keep moving the uh, hall of fame, so it's out of shot. Right, whether you caught that or not, this is uh, I just dispensed. 1.59 litres of fluid. <clears throat> now, while we're on here, this is what it's all about. Uh, I needed a way to work out how much beer I was consuming. So every time I pulled the tap, which would have been akin to pulling the trigger on that, um, beer would flow, I'm pointing at this, beer would flow through here and then out the other side. Uh, these are commonly found in coffee makers and other sort of industrial equipment that dispenses fluids, liquids, whatever. So anyway, back to BR going in here, coming out the other side. The red wire is uh, power, black is ground, yellow is signal. And what's happening in here is on sort of the turbine, kind of like my janky drill here, wherever the fuck it is. The fucking flash just died on me, no kidding. So, we get in the light, you can see north and south poles. So, now I really have to speed this up. So anyway, every time you pull the tap, beer is going to flow through here. And a way of measuring it is the way I just did. And I'm going to pause it real quick and go over to the screen and get a bit of a shot of that. But essentially this is just so that I have a screen sitting on the, because you can, sitting on the fridge so I can read it out. Because you can weigh kegs, you can, there's another method where you can take them out and look where the, um, look where the condensation mark is, but with a 50 litre keg you really don't, you really don't want to be doing that. Um, so, automation seems to be the most simplest way of doing things. Um, build more robots, destroy the humans. Um, legs. So yeah, I'm just fucking pissed off that the flash fucking died on me. Um, so yeah, that's the sensor beer goes fucking through it and a readout is sent to an analog pin which reads it, hence yielding this result over here. Um, that volume counter isn't working at the moment, but it is working on the LCD, so you can't see anything. That volume counter isn't working at the moment, as I just saw, um, but it is working on the LCD, which is just over there. <coughs> uh, okay, so 1.56, we'll just pause this and get back to it. Okay, <clears throat> so this should work. Um, what I'm going to do is take the drill, which you can't see, because the fucking flash is off, uh, as I did before, and I'm going to run it past this. Now, one thing you can't see happening, but you need to realise, is that holding this, I'm kind of whacking myself with the tape, and... I don't want to damage the sensor by hitting it with a fucking magnet. 
Um, they're designed to pass by each other, not contact with each other. Uh, hence why they're effective mechanism. Uh, they, the reeds, not the reeds, which the uh, Hall effect sensor essentially reads the magnetic pulse as it goes past and puts it out as a square wave. Some people call that a pulse width modulation signal. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, so I'll just spin this up. So you see, when it's flashing the red, it's taking a reader. So it's spinning at 6.15 liters a minute. Now this turbine technically isn't the scale, and I'm not getting a reading because I know that it's not balanced properly. 420, let's leave it there just for shits and giggles. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, you can't see it. Right. But I'm just doing it. 427. There you go. Sure, for one. Well, GM. Uh, I just want to see that volume counter once more because it's not showing up on the PC. Really. So, okay, 7.95. That is, bear in mind, a bloody big magnet on the end of a drill. So if your turbine was that big, it's probably compensating for that amount of water, blah, blah, blah. I'll pause it back. Uh, well, actually, I might just talk over the top of this. Um, just a sec. So yeah, so 440 dispensed, and if we look over, no you can't fucking see it, but it does say 4.4 litres dispensed, and the total volume is 4.4. So what's this all in aid of? Every time you pour a glass, say, well, yeah, I'm in the dark, so I'm just going to have to You'll have to use your imagination. Then you get schooners, pots, ponies, different, you know, 7, 10, etc. on and up, 12 ounce glasses. Um, you pour a few of them or a 1140 ml jug. Unless you're keeping track of it by rolling it down, there's no way to fucking know how much beer you have left unless you can see through stainless steel. In which case, you probably wouldn't be making fucking YouTube videos um, about this shit at this time of fucking night. Um, and I had thought of floats and different things that weren't prohibited, but I couldn't think of anything food safe. Anyway, a mate sent me a video saying, watch this, and I watched it. In the last two seconds, he had this ridiculous setup. It probably cost him five fucking grand. Um, so they could carry a fucking 50 litre keg around in the back of a ute. Um, but someone did have the brains to work out you need some way of measuring that. And yeah, you do. And when you've got it in your fridge, you kind of know how long it's going to last and you can judge it by the calendar. Um, if you had a big afternoon here or there or whatever, or if you didn't for that fucking matter. Um, I've had kegs last 40, 60 days, I've had them last 20. So, and that's the 50 litres that I brought in that you'll see in the videos. And, yeah, I got talking to a bloke at a home brew shop, and, uh, online home brew shop, I should say. So I'm enjoying a cold beverage while I talk to you guys. Um, and I explained this to him and he said, yeah, there's nothing commercially available in the home brew world that he was aware of. I mean, there's plenty of people, and there is some things. There's a thing called a keg bot. But 
but I believe it runs off uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, running Python obviously, and my experience with Raspberry Pis, they're um, tasty and delicious. Now, if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's a Linux-based credit, credit card size computer, which has got the same Ethernet ports and stuff on it that this does. Um, but it can also do video and you can plug your camera into it. This is a more of a PLC sort of thing, it's a much more simple um, controller. So, every time the drill spins, that's equivalent to the turbine spinning when someone cranks a lever on the tap, and yeah, that will give me the fucking numbers that I'm looking for. And as long as I don't press, press that reset button up there that says beer flow meter sink on a piss you'd only have to do that every time you change your kick so I'm smoking a durry pool I hope you're happy with that vaping was um, I don't know it's Sort of it's an interesting thing to get used to. Anyway, I'll pause that there so you don't have to keep staring at actually what I'll do is I'll run it up again. Hang on. Gotta get the name to you see no flash? Okay, there we go. It's not reading anything, that's because I'm not triggering. If you can't read anything, that's because I'm not triggering the sensor. Doesn't seem right. That's what they charge at the two dollar shop. Right, four sixty. Four big block, small block, it's struck out. So I'll just fucking ramble on now, but I've got the number back up. Um yeah, um, this is still like research and development, proof, proof of concept thing. Um, as for the laser stuff, um, yeah, that I did a bit of research into that. All the math and all that shit's out there. I just didn't have any of the uh, right microphones that they were targeting, which are M's, M E M S, all up, uppercase, MEMS microphones.
I do believe there is one in an old MacBook I've got. Hang on. Yeah, I do believe there's one in an old MacBook I've got, but um, yeah, I couldn't hit it because you've got to run the signal at one kilohertz. But that's all in the white paper from Light Commands on their site. There's a PDF there you can read if you want. Um, people are talking about whether it's viable or not, but that's need to hear all day with this fucking video. So anyway, we're back up to 4.61, which is what the last readout was from the LCD screen. And as far as the hokey pokey goes, that's what it's all about. So there's no silly buggers going on here. Oh no, 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 don't die. So, yeah, it's, it's out. It's output that volume, as it says on both, and that's the little gimmick that does it. So, yeah. Every time we pull the tap, this little yellow line will send a pulse off to that. And we'll be able to read that on the on the door of the fridge as well as check a computer you know like the way this works really quickly before we hang up is up the top there IP address here here that's uh, that's the IP address of that uh, little computer with the screen on it so yeah, just documenting the process of this little build I've got going on. Anyway, totally I've rambled on for fucking ages now. Totally random lock and picks, thanks for watching. Happy picking or whatever you're doing. I'm out, bye bye.